Well, this log's about something I never really wanted to believe in. But then it happened. Sort of unconvincingly when I was a child, and it happened again 20 years ago. It's UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> Not unidentified farting objects, flying objects. I'll take you to the spot where I saw one, and I had a really good look. Windermere Road in London, right by the soccer sports field. A summer's evening, 20 years ago, around 9 p.m. Sort of half half light outside. Of course, I wasn't drinking or doing anything. This was real. From that day on, I've always carried a camera in the car. No luck since. It's just straight ahead, the lights. I'm only a kilometer from my home, a real live UFO. Just over that direction. It's just sort of uh, some floodplain near the road. Little creek runs through there and some field. Well, now we're on Windermere, but we're heading the other direction. grab the camera and show you what I was talking about.
So I'm looking over at that field there. There's a little walkway. And right above that little bridge thing over the creek, about 150 feet up there in the air, not that high, there was this thing that looked like a oval cow watering trough. You know, the ones that are about seven feet long and two and a half feet high and about two and a half feet wide. Well, that thing was just sort of suspended up there without a sound. Like nothing, it was just hanging there in the air. And I'm sitting here for five minutes looking at it. And right across the street, there's this sports field. They play soccer there and there's all those big lights on the post. And those things are super bright and there's hundreds of people there. But they're all sort of blinded by the light watching their children playing and nobody could see into the darker background and notice that thing and it didn't seem to any cars driving by were noticing it either. I could have got out and walked over and looked at it but since this was so real I was actually scared to. I was thinking maybe I was going to get apprehended or zapped by something. I was just so pissed off I had no camera with me and that's why I always carry one with me now. So I'm just sitting here watching this thing and it had like three colors on it. I think red and white, I can remember two of them. One light that was on all the time sort of illuminating itself and one that was flashing. The red one was flashing. So finally after five minutes I rush home to get my video camera and my photo camera. And my wife's home and my friend is home. And I rush back here and it was gone. We drove all over the neighborhood looking for the damn thing, couldn't find it. pretty nondescript and not too interesting. The only curious thing was that it, it stayed there the whole time I was watching it, probably wondering if I was looking at it. And the fact that it was there completely silently, it was probably just watching all the activity going on with hundreds of people playing the games that night. It was a warm summer's night. Judging by the billions of galaxies out there and all the planets that are probably with those galaxies. It's far more than likely that there's intelligent life out there and other life out there than just what's on little old planet Earth. Sometimes I wonder if there's intelligent life at David's farm, but I'll let you guys be the judge. So, who knows? It was interesting and I'll never forget it. <laughs> 